guys, today I have a voiceover video of me doing my hair like this um, with this product, the Conair U Style 1.5 inch to 1 inch curling wand. Um, somebody recommended this on my Tumblr, so I decided to kind of show you all how I do it. I don't know. It's kind of a small curling wand, but you can achieve a little bit bigger curls with it if you just watch this video and see how I style it afterwards. So if you're interested to see how I achieved this look right here, then just keep on You're going to start by sectioning your hair into thirds. The upper third will go up in a bun and the bottom two thirds are what you're going to be working with. And just kind of brush through your hair and then apply a heat protectant like my Garnier Fructis, uh hair protectant, I don't know, and then just brush that, brush that through your hair. And set your curling wand up to the hottest temperature and begin uh, with the tapered end towards the ground and just begin wrapping your hair away from your face around the curling wand over and over again. Don't change direction and just do that all the way around your head. This is not enough, well, it's cliche but we could get away, baby, if you put your hand in mine. A moonless night's a perfect cover up to keep them from the places we hide. The key is to make sure that your pieces aren't too thick, like this piece right here is too thick so I would just separate that into two pieces and curl them separately. Then you just do the exact same thing to the other side of your hair and just make sure that you're curling in the opposite direction that you were in the beginning. See from the flesh in your skin, this place is not enough well. A good tip I have is to keep the curling wand horizontal behind your head to keep the curls from sliding all the way down to the smallest size and keep them looking at their best. with that side you're going to let down the next third of your hair keeping up the last third up in its bun and then just spray that third with heat protectant and do exactly as you did on the bottom keeping in mind where your part is going to be third down and then separate that third into thirds and take the third of that and just do the same thing as you've been doing away from your face. The reason that I separate these even further is because this is a really thick section of my hair so I just want to make sure the curls remain uh, with the same amount of hair that they have been the entire style. Some of you may like this, it's kind of too, I don't know, afro reminiscent for me. And not that that's a bad thing, but it does not look good on me, and so I'm going to try to figure it out. The problem with having such thick 
hair is that you can't really spruce up, I don't know, spruce up the style that much. If you want a little bit more volume, I guess you can just kind of tease it up with a um, teasing comb or like just a fine tooth comb. But I mean, my hair is just thick all the time and I don't really want it to be any bigger than it is. Um, this may bother some people, but go ahead and do what you want if you want to do it. For me, I'm just going to add some hairspray. And I know this is kind of unrealistic for a lot of you because you may be trying to do this style for a night out or just kind of have it for that day. But if I curl my hair like this the day before, hairspray it, kind of live in it for a day, and then sleep on it, it looks great the next day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to recreate that without having to sleep on it, if that makes any sense. So pretty much flip your head upside down and run your hands with your fingers like this through your hair to just kind of break up all the curls and loosen it up a little bit. I'm going to try to do it so you guys can see. Not too much because you want to still have the shape and see now my hair looks humongous so I have to repart it. And now I'm just going to spray it with a bunch of hairspray and kind of like work with it as I'm doing that. So I'm going to spray. And I'm going to put in, I'm actually, I'm using the Aussie Sprunch Hairspray um, Flexible Hold. It smells absolutely amazing and it holds really well. I mean, it's not like a super maximum strength hairspray, but it does do its job and it smells amazing. You can't really beat the smell. So I really like using it, especially for curls when you don't need them to be that stiff. Okay, so just keep spraying and kind of tossing up the curls like this and then kind of pick up some layers and go in. Just kind of sprunch it up like this. And then I'm actually going to go in with one more product, the Bedhead um, by TG After Party. It's a smoothing cream for silky, shiny, healthy looking hair. I've been using this since before I can even remember. I've been using this since, I want to say, like the 7th or 8th grade. And it's just a great cream. I don't know, it's not even a cream. It's just makes your hair really silky and just finishes up a style and it just looks really good. So I'm going to rub that all over my hands and more <laughs> and just kind of... Kind of smooth it over the curls. Like that. Kind of make everything look good. So if you're going to do what I like to do and sleep in it overnight and then use it for the next day, um, or if you're just going to wear it one day and then want to wear it again the next day, I'm going to recommend one more product and it's the Bedhead Spoil Me Defrizzer Smoother and Instant Restyler. And this stuff is really, really great, and it's a restyler, but it doesn't really feel like it. It's kind of just like a really, 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 really loose hairspray. And it just like, the next day after you style your hair, curl it or wave it or even keep it straight, if you put it in your hair and just kind of mess it around and kind of smooth it down or scrunch it up, depending on what you have, um, it's just kind of, I don't know, it just smooths everything. It makes it look really good. It makes it look like second day, but not in a bad way at all. It just looks really great. So... I would recommend to use this the next day. So this is my curl hair look with my one and a half inch to one inch Conair U style curling wand. I hope you guys like it and if you recreate this look or have the same curling iron and have a video of you curling your hair with it, I would love to see it. So put it down below and I'll check it out for sure. And if you like this video, thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to see anything else. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Touch up your lips. Fire in your eyes, come on